Hello everyone, I'm Tofu, and today we're going to be doing a little bit of home remodelling. So I've wanted to do some remodelling for the homes of the more permanent residents on Tanglewood. So today we're going to be redoing the homes for Filbert and Roswell. Roswell's house just doesn't look good at all in my opinion, and Filbert has one of the standard ones, so one of the free starters when you uh, first go for your Nook Mile kind of ticket villagers. So. I guess I'll talk to uh, Nook here and we'll get straight into the designing. I definitely could do with a fresh cut style. So here is Roswell's standard home design. He's got a few items such as the cool globe and I guess the tweed jacket. Maybe the scooter but that might have actually been a standard item. But the other two items certainly were something I've gifted to him. But this is kind of his house just in general so kind of like a street like maybe an alleyway and he's got like a little um, fish or sushi kind of vending stall but I'm not into it so we're gonna go and just get rid of all of this and uh, make it into my own okay so my des design idea for both kind of Roswell and Filbert I guess is that F um, Roswell is an alien and he's obviously landed in the jungle he's kind of got this mysterious um, air to him he's trying to pass off as just a regular kind of villager with no one necessarily knowing that he is an alien and Filbert's kind of seen this UFO landing site obviously his home's near to the kind of build that I did and so he's trying to spread this conspiracy that aliens exist maybe that Roswell actually is one of these aliens and so yeah he's trying to convince other people that he is indeed this alien. I wanted Roswell's house to kind of have the feel of it inside a ship so obviously the outside looks like a home however the in indoors is this kind of very elaborate spaceship. So uh, I'm gonna use a jungle wall as well as like a background uh, maybe this jungle wall fabulous so we've got the kind of spacey kind of um, wall on all the other three walls and then we've got this jungle wall as the accent uh, I'm going to change the flooring to this future tech flooring because I really do like that I think it actually looks better than the sci-fi flooring personally but anyway do that and I'm gonna just put some partitions kind of really try and make it look like there is this kind of open window to the jungle in the background but for the most part the interior is all this kind of futuristic spaceship so with that being said I know that there are definitely some items that we can get um, regarding the kind of spaceship feel uh, I know there's there we go a crew member's seat it's definitely one of them I'm gonna go with the green for the majority of the furniture because I just think it looks really good. Uh, there is definitely a matching table and kind of, um, I guess, console in this set. So the strategic meeting table, there we go. Again, um, the green just looks so good. Like the red's pretty good as well, but I just prefer the green. It definitely gives more kind of an aliens vibe. And to be honest, I don't know, um, for s some reason, I think it kind of gives almost a. Um, like a bit of an 80s vibe that might be because of the actual film Aliens but that was a good movie okay so that's kind of the general consensus of what I'm gonna go for I'm gonna have a the other table I don't remember the name of it but it's gonna go kind of around about here in the middle so I guess I'll jump cut to when I find that so see you in a second okay so it's the spaceship control panel was what I was thinking of and actually, I think that should kind of go on the right-hand side in front of the chair, and that's that's the table I was thinking of that should go in the middle. So we're going to put that there, and this table is going to be about here-ish. Fabulous. Okay, so I kind of want something obviously on the left-hand side as well, kind of as if Roswell's doing experiments he's trying to kind of blend in so he needs to know a lot more about the kind of villagers and the various different species and things 
So, I remembered an item from the hospital. Um, I'm just trying to find it. There we go, the examination room desk. So, I want it in black, because that kind of matches more. And then we'll go with the animal kind of radiogram. We're going to put that on the other side. I kind of want this to have a kind of slight mysterious feeling. Maybe a slight bit of menace, but... Obviously, Roswell's a cool dude, so, you know, he's all good. But I want this feeling to just to be a little bit mysterious, you know. there's You don't really necessarily know his kind of motives and what he's planning to do once he's found out all the information that he needs to find out. Um, that being said, I think we should have a little thing here to properly block off the jungle. Almost act like a kind of fence, so bear with me. I'm going to jump cut to the partitions and just see what looks good. Okay, the wooden partition. It's okay, but I think it could be better. Hmm, could use curtains, but it kind of blocks off a lot of that view, which is a shame. It's not the worst. Could open it. I'm just going to try the bamboo. Actually, I kind of like that. It almost feels like nature's kind of trying to encroach on this uh, this little opening of his spacecraft. You know what, I'm going to go with that. With that being said, I might actually just quickly jump into the ceiling decor and hang some uh, vines. Let's flip around and just change it to the slightly lighter colour. Yeah, I like that. Again, I kind of want that feeling that um, nature is almost kind of trying to invade in this little personal space. It gives it a lot more kind of feeling that he is actually part of the environment as well, not just a like completely separate entity once you enter his house, house even. Okay, so I need to find some items to go on the left-hand side, kind of next to this examination table. So I was thinking something like um, one of the work desks, or work benches I should say. So, maybe the ironwood workbench might work. Does it come in a dark colour? Uh, it comes in walnut. Okay. What do I think of that? Hmm. I think it could be better, but that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. So... Maybe the DIY workbench, does that come in a black colour? It does. Okay, yeah. Again, a little bit of kind of more menacing, the fact that you've got this workbench right next to the examination kind of table with the x-rays and things. Again, I just want that kind of bit of mystery. Again, the, the slight hint of a threat, even though we know he's good, he's all... He's all fine, but it adds to the kind of lore, a little bit of the kind of mystery to this island as well. What's he doing here? Who knows? Um, I was thinking maybe the um, glowing moss jar kind of shelf, just kind of close to this um, workbench as well. So again, we'll change the colour to be black. And fits quite nicely. I'm just going to move this bench slightly over so there's a little bit of space there. That feels a bit more kind of natural. Okay. Which leaves mostly for the floor space. I want something in this kind of area. So the bottom right hand corner. So I'm not necessarily sure what I'm going to look for. So I guess if I find something I'll jump cut. See you there. I really do like this item. But it's just a bit too big, isn't it? It kind of blocks a lot of the view, so... Maybe not that. Robot arm? That could be interesting. Sure. I'm going to stick the robot arm, and you know what? If... I need a little subject to be on that kind of uh, little desk, so... I'm going to go into the miscellaneous. And we're going to put a puppy plushie down there. So, again, it's a little bit menacing, 
but we know it's a plushie, so it's fine. He's just doing like experiments on the plush. This is how he learns about real dogs in the real world. Does that make sense? No? It's fine. I guess I kind of want a few, obviously, miscellaneous items, some um, things placed on the walls, things like that. Obviously, we need some ceiling lights, just a little bit more kind of atmosphere. Um, I think we should have definitely the glowing moss jar somewhere. There it is. I'm going to go with the turquoise one because I think that green kind of suits more with the green colour of all the kind of um, consoles and things. Great. I'm going to put a... Um, uh, was it a hanging monitor? I couldn't think of the word before I actually got there. We're going to put that just above the main console. I'm going to change it to uh, operations data because that looks the most kind of technical. It looks more like it's kind of, I guess, spaceship related. It looks like you've got the graphs, the performance of the engine, things like that. And plus it's got a nice kind of green glow as well, so it's not too out of place. Okay, I'm going to find some items to um, be placed on top of this uh, shelving unit. So, jump cut to that. Siren could be interesting. Okay, sure. I like that. I think I might put a speaker just next to it and we'll have some um, funky music playing in the background. I probably won't set it off until the end of the build, so I will definitely put some music just on in the background so that it's not complete silence. I'm good to you guys like that. Okay, I guess I'm going to go with some kind of ceiling lights. I'm thinking something like a hanging cube light. It's very simple, but can kind of look futuristic, and I'm pretty sure it comes in a green. It does indeed. Fabulous. Put them in there and there. So it's not too kind of uh, in your face. It still allows you to see the monitor and the vine. I love it. Okay, we're going to move on to the walls, I think. So, the wall directly behind the workbench. I'm thinking having like a world map. So, we'll put that there. And another thing, so... Uh, does the constellation map come in this? It does. Okay. Magic. So, that can go kind of just besides. So, you've got the kind of constellation map, the world map right next to the workbench, right next to the examination bench. Russ was planning something. But what could it be? Only time will tell, I suppose. Um, this wall is kind of looking bare as well, so I'm going to put, I think... There we go, when I get past it. I'm going to put some Nendoroids there, just for a little bit of movement and a little bit of noise as well when I put the music on. Um, Stelloid. I kind of really like the intergalactic feel. Okay. Let's actually go into the wall menu, and that way he'll connect to the wall. I'm going to go with two of them. I'm going to put them either side of these kind of beams. I'm going to have one that's a slightly different colour. So one green and one black. I mean, that's kind of the um, theme of the room. Their noise is really nice. Just, I, I love these guys. Okay. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with that as a design. Um, maybe we need a little rug just to kind of help tie the place together. Let's look for the most cosmic kind of rugs. One of the Earth. 
Hmm. It's okay. I might try the um, star rug and just see what I think of that. Yeah, actually, I really like that. Right in the center of the star. A little nod to the fact that um, Roswell's come from beyond the stars. Yeah, cool. And... With that being said as well, if he's from the stars, he should have some kind of um, spacesuit. So, I'm just going to have a quick look for that and see if we can find something. Okay, I was thinking the spacesuit somewhere hanging up on one of the walls, so there. And if we can get the um, astronaut kind of helmet as well, maybe just above that. There we go, just directly kind of above. Nice, and the big shelf with the space helmet, because that's such a big kind of um, hat item. It kind of then looks like the hanger is hanging off of that actual shelf. So yeah, I really am liking this. I'm going to just change the lighting a little bit. First I'm going to change the entrance way into a dark stone, because I think that's more fitting. Going to give him a nice kind of greeny glow, but really tone it down. And cyber or space kind of atmosphere. I mean, space would make more sense, wouldn't it? So let's go with space. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Obviously, there's a lot of kind of luminosity from the various kind of glowing green consoles. The green lights really are helping. And then obviously the just gen general kind of green atmosphere we've put down. Yeah, I'm really happy. I'm going to just nip into that and obviously touch the speaker. And I guess it would make sense to go into, when I can find it, Robot Synth. I'm just going to turn it down slightly. Because that's the most kind of futuristic sounding, in my opinion. Plus, it's a funky beat, so I love it. Hmm, I'm not sure about that siren. <laughs> Maybe we'll just leave that turned off. That can be his emergency warning if um, someone's getting too close or someone's onto his uh, onto his plans. Right, let's talk to uh, Nook and move on to Filbert, I guess. So here we are, Filbert's home. Like I said, he is one of the kind of um, starter lazy boys that you get in the game. So you get one of the natural kind of starter homes. And it's kind of boring. So we're going to obviously get rid of all of this. And move on to my design. Just double check that there's nothing on the walls. Nope. So he's all good. So... Obviously, I explained that um, in my lore, I've got Filbert as kind of this um, like alien conspiracy guy. So the house kind of design is going to play on that a little bit. I want a quite natural looking home, but again, I want it to be very kind of open to this kind of um, forest, kind of jungle. So it kind of gives the feeling that it's very kind of um, yeah, part of the world, I guess. But, something I don't generally do is, I use petitions a fair bit, but I don't tend to kind of block off part of the actual build. And I just kind of want to give that illusion today. And we'll, oh, wrong one, we'll use a wooden pillar. Okay. Like, generally I like quite a lot of um, symmetry in my builds, but I'm just fancying something a little bit kind of different. We'll block off a little area. Maybe he'll have like a little secret um, something, like something he's collected over the years. And this can be hidden away and he's a little bit paranoid because he thinks the aliens will kind of steal it away from him. So we'll hide it in this space thinking it's completely safe. But obviously we'll know it's there. I'm going to change the flooring because this dirt flooring is just terrible. Mm, I don't think that really makes sense, so I'm going to go just 
straight up to the classic wood floorings. I'm going to play around to see what I like. Okay, I've gone with one of my good old classics, my failsafe, the dark kind of rosewood flooring. I love the dark floorings, the dark wood floorings especially in this game. They all look really good. So, my idea is obviously he's got the open part of the jungle. The first thing I'm going to get hold of is a telescope. Give me one of those, but I would like one of the actual kind of... Um, astronomy-esque telescopes as well, so I'll find that. Oh, trust me to go completely the wrong direction. So I kind of want one of these pointing actually towards the jungle. You know what, I think the just this straight up telescope makes more sense. The other one's kind of more of a um, tourist attraction kind of telescope. This is more kind of like something you could actually buy and uh, obviously you look for it for the stars in this particular instance he's looking deep into the jungle he's trying to find instances of Roswell actually showing that he is an alien so I'm gonna put like a small table just in the right hand corner here maybe a project table because I'm pretty sure that comes in the dark wood it does indeed fabulous and then we're gonna just put a few miscellaneous things so I was thinking maybe a laptop Let's change the design. I have actually downloaded a few um, custom designs. That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> That's the town flag. Right, let's change it up. So I've actually downloaded a detective corkboard, cryptid news, and I want to believe poster. So we're going to go with a cryptid news. Just makes it look like he's either documenting any kind of findings that he's got or is checking kind of various um, alien related news websites and then I think we should have just like a um, clipboard or something like that so various kind of items where he's writing down information anything he might find that he thinks is suspicious something like that maybe the essay set maybe not reference sheet would that look good plans oh with sticky notes actually that would be perfect okay cool so I want this to basically be his kind of I guess conspiracy corner so this is where all the kind of um, work goes this is where he comes up with his theories he documents any kind of alien sightings anything that he thinks is totally suspicious and could lead to this case being busted wide open the reason I downloaded the um, custom codes for the I want to believe poster and the detective kind of corkboard is I wanted them up on the wall just around this kind of area so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna bust out the poster frame there we go just double check the colors of the frame I kind of like the original brown wood custom design firstly the I want to believe poster so that could be like there-ish and we're gonna do exactly the same thing change it up for this um, detective corkboard So I had the kind of image of that um, meme of the guy kind of smoking, I, I think he's smoking but I could be wrong, but he's like kind of slapping this entire wall that's basically covered in photos, all these kind of news um, news clippings with all the kind of different red strings, that's what I really had in mind. I would have loved it to kind of, this entire pattern, excuse me, the entire pattern to make up the kind of back wall, but I thought it just looked a bit strange because obviously how it kind of tiles and I couldn't get it to make it look good when I was trying to plan for it and so as a result I've kind of gone with this idea I was thinking of leaving a little space maybe towards the end um, because I've already downloaded a foil like a tin foil hat I'm gonna place that just above his kind of conspiracy corner so 
if he gets paranoid that obviously the aliens are coming for him, he can pop on his little hat and he'll be all safe and good. Continuing on with this kind of conspiracy corner, this back wall, I think we need another little table, something like that. Maybe the sloppy table, does that come in a dark wood? It does indeed. And we can actually use the discarded kind of magazines underneath. Again, we just change that to the cryptid news. Fantastic. There we go. And so we can put various little things on top of the um, table there. So I was thinking maybe like a microscope. There it is. Actually, that was really close by. So we have a microscope here. And then I'm not really sure, maybe the glowing moss jar is just a good item and certainly kind of really fits with the whole alien um, feel. I'm going the wrong way. There we go, got there eventually. Again, I think we'll go with the turquoise. It's probably my favourite colour when it comes to the jars. And you know what? In this space, maybe we'll have the, um, the shelves of the jars as well. Much like Roswell had them. But I'll go with a slightly different colour. Uh, that took me forever to find. I, I definitely skipped over that. Um, there we go. Damaged. So, obviously it's quite a rusty kind of metal frame. Maybe he found it up near the site and has managed to kind of haul it back to his home. And he's using it as kind of more evidence as to the fact that aliens exist. They're definitely doing something on this island. Um, I think it definitely needs something on top and maybe another little um, thing behind it on the wall as well. So we'll check the bulletin board. I think I'm going to stay with the standard because the others, that's too cutesy because of all the various pink and bright colours. That feels more like a kind of school or college type um, bulletin board. But we'll change this over to again the cryptid news. Obviously any of the three um, creator codes, sorry, any of the free kind of design codes that I've used, I will put the creator codes in the description below, so if you would like to obviously download it yourself, feel free and go check them out. So, yeah, I think just above the shelf there, something like that would look good, and we'll put something in this kind of top corner here. Hmm, I could put the ancient statue. It's a bit large though, isn't it? Hmm, maybe a fossil would work. The Anka Fastega? Yeah, you know what? I think that fits really nicely. That kind of gives, again, the illusion that maybe this is a, uh, a strange creature that he's just determined isn't of this uh, planet. And so he's kept it and put it part of his um, conspiracy corner. I pressed the wrong button. I'm doing that a lot today. <laughs> I apologise. Okay, so I'm liking that so far. I wouldn't mind a bit more space here. Not really for anything in particular, so I might just push that back and add just like the um, wooden partition shelves. Just see what I think of that. I've said it once before, I'll say it again, I am no good when it comes to navigating these menus. I really wish there was a search feature. But I don't mind that, that's not too bad. Again, I can add just a couple of things onto the sideboard. Just part of his conspiracy corner. I'm gonna go into other and I'm gonna look for the star fragment. That definitely feels like something you'd have on display. Uh, of course, it's right on the bottom. Silly me. And I did actually mention the ancient statue previously. Maybe that would look nice on this uh, on this shelf here. But we go the fake one with the antennas. That looks more kind of alien. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so just before I forget, I'm going to actually go into the ceiling decor. And much like Roswell's home, I'm gonna have like a few kind of jungle vines and things like that. Kind of really get the feeling that the jungle is encroaching on the home. He's left it open so obviously he can try and spy on like Roswell and any kind of various other alien sightings. But, yeah. I really
really like the addition of these vines. Again, I think it makes it kind of feel a little bit more natural in the build. And like I said, it kind of encroaches actually on the house, but it's very much part of the world. And I might just have some hanging glow moss as well. Just plonk that in the corner because that fits nicely. Might change this up to the light green. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, I think it's coming together quite nicely. Okay, obviously it is a home, so we need to put some kind of comfort and various amenities in here. So let's start by looking for a sofa. Maybe a simple sofa. What colours does it come in? Green? Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. Oh, you know what? As a nod to his obviously being a lazy personality, maybe we'll go with the sloppy sofa. And it does match with the table as well. Um, doo -doo -doo. I think brown would work nicely. Maybe... Maybe the dark green. So it's a, a little tiny little splash of colour. And we'll just put it there. I would love a little um, side desk, like side table. So I guess the wooden end table. Again, that surely comes in a dark wood. It does. And I would love a bookcase or bookshelf kind of to the side. So I'm going to look at the uh, book, the bookcase to start with, because I know that definitely comes in a dark wood. There we go. And we'll just put that to the side. There, fabulous. And I think realistically you've obviously got a little bit of furniture there as well, so you can't necessarily access the books, or like all of the books, but there are going to be some books that you hide away. For one reason or another, maybe it's something that you're less likely to pick up. So yeah, I think it just is a bit more of a natural feel because of that. Um, being lazy, I think he should have some kind of entertainment because he can't constantly be doing this um, alien conspiracy thing. That's It would just take too much toll on his psyche. Being lazy, I think a game console, and naturally, is going to be the Switch. We'll go with the good old standard neon kind of blue and red. Fabulous. The botanical rug is probably my favourite rug in the game. I absolutely love it, and it seems to fit really nicely. Almost separates the kind of living and the kind of conspiracy area of this home. So yeah, I'm going to go with that. I think he could definitely do with a small table or something just in the middle there. Again, to put some various kind of knickknacks on. Um, maybe the round one. We've got a lot of kind of various square kind of bits of furniture. So that just changes the shape up ever so slightly. Gives a slight... Um, I guess curve to the room instead of that. A lot of things are very angular at the moment, especially with obviously how I've done the partitions. So we'll go into miscellaneous and see what various knickknacks we can put on top. I think a document stack on that side and then maybe a drink on this side. I think he's definitely going to need some kind of like green tea, keep his uh, energy high, his wits about him. And obviously the brown mug with the green really kind of suits this room so far. So yeah, I'm liking that. I think we should definitely have some kind of chair or stool or something in this kind of area. So that you can obviously sit down while he's working on the laptop or on the microscope. I was going to say microphone then, but that's, that's a wrong thing. I think a stool would work quite nicely. I'm with chair. I mean, it definitely matches the furniture. But there is definitely a lot of dark wood and kind of brown uh, colour over there, so maybe we'll go with the stool, the simple stool. And we've got a lot of green, surely it comes in a green, it does, fantastic. Yeah, I like that. So there's a few things I would like to add, obviously the um, lighting. So let's go up into the ceiling. I think again a simple kind of nod to the fact that he is a lazy. I'm just going to have a single hanging light bulb. I'm going to put it in copper because that's the closest to brown that I can get. 
So hanging directly over the middle of the room. I actually wouldn't mind a couple of uh, spotlight-esque lights as well, just on the wall here. These ones here. I'm probably going to go with the black. Okay, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with what we've got so far. A couple of these walls are looking a bit bare, so we could do something with that. So, I'm just going to have a look at some furniture and see what we can do here. Uh, much like Roswell, I think I'm going to put down the constellation chart. I'm going to put that kind of close to the sofa. I'm going to put down my favourite, favourite item, the wall planter. I swear at one point, when probably in my Shimizu playthrough, so this, my second island, I think I incorporated this in like probably about 70% of the Happy Home Paradise homes I actually designed. I really love this item and I love just kind of putting them slightly wonky on the wall so there's a little bit of kind of asymmetry. It's just so good. I love it. And now I just need to find something to live kind of here. Maybe another plant. I've used this a fair bit, but maybe I'll go with the hanging terrarium because I'm pretty sure that comes in a brown colour. It does. And it feels kind of just natural to basically hang it on one of the bamboo kind of support pillars. I'll just zoom out of there. Yeah, that looks kind of homely. But you obviously spin it round and then you've got this big kind of conspiracy area. I might just add... Is there a little, um, like a toy aeroplane kind of uh, thing from the ceiling? What's it called? Uh, the Ornithopter. Yeah. Let's see what kind of various colours it comes in. I'll go with blue and just kind of put it almost in between the lights so it's just kind of hanging there. Maybe it's a little model that he's made, thinking this could be like a, a prototype of the alien spaceship that first kind of came down to Tanglewood to drop off um, Roswell. Something like that. Who knows? And I think lastly, I already mentioned it previously, but obviously he's kind of a little bit paranoid, so he's going to have something hidden away behind this kind of secret screen. I was thinking maybe the rocket. Um, I know there's a... I presume it's a toy rocket, to be honest, but um, I will find it in the menu and let you know when I get there. Okay, the throwback rocket. I guess it's a... Um, it works as a closet. So, maybe the black one. I did grab it. So, maybe have it kind of just hidden away. So, he's got like this kind of artifact. Mm, do I like that? Would it make more sense that he's put down a load of kind of cardboard boxes and various kind of like files and reports? You know what, I'm going to find some boxes, I'll put them down and then I'll compare them, see what I think. Okay, you know what, obviously it's going to be hidden away, but I kind of prefer the boxes, just the cardboard boxes to be honest. It gives the idea that he's written down all these various notes, he's a bit more paranoid that these are real kind of ones of importance and they'll be the ones that are stolen, so he's hidden them away. Only he generally knows where they are. Obviously, they're behind these uh, secret kind of screens, which he has access to. Maybe he uses the bookcase. He's got that super kind of spy. Like, he pulls out a particular book, and then the wall kind of slides away. Oh, how cool would that actually be in real life? But yeah, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with that, and I think I'm done. I can't think of anything else. I haven't added any kind of music to this one. Maybe we'll look at the just soundscapes and just see if there's anything. I guess jungle makes sense, right? There we go. Nice bit of atmosphere. Love it. So I'm just going to jump into the game, grab a photo for the screenshot, and uh, then I guess I'll skip to the days and where they're both in their houses and we can show them off and uh, see what their opinions are. Okay, so this is the design I'm going to go with for the exterior. I just want the kind of natural wood tones. It makes it feel a little bit more kind of jungly. And then I've put the blue door to kind of indicate that it is actually filbert. Oh, hey, sir. Oh, he's um, doing a DIY, so he's actually got rid of the, um, 
They're going moss shelves. It's kind of annoying, but oh well. Yeah, teach me the stack of books. Anyway, Philbert, what do you think of your home? Why, thank you. That's the kind of recognition I was hoping to uh, receive. Naptacular. You don't have time to be napping. You've got a conspiracy to be fueling. Uh, it took a few days worth of travelling forward, but we managed to actually catch Roswell in his home. I hope you like you, uh, your new digs. I'm really happy, again, like I mentioned, with Philbert's house. I'm really happy with how both houses came out. I like to imagine that I've nailed kind of the idea that I was going for. Hopefully you guys agree as well. Okay guys, I guess I'm going to end today's video here. Thank you very much if you watched to this point up into the video. Obviously, if you like what you saw, please hit like and consider subscribing if you haven't done already. If you're into the kind of design aspect of my island, then obviously subscribe like I said and stay tuned because I'm going to be designing a little bit more of the island and we'll probably be putting down the kind of Able Sisters and putting them down near in front of the uh, where Filbert is and obviously designing the beach as well. But that being said, thank you very much, have a good one and we'll see you next time. Bye!